Recipients of the Deferred Action for Child Arrivals, also known as JACA, have been awaiting their fate for the last year. As Chanel Diaz reports, the state of Hawaii is fighting to keep the Dreamers safe from deportation. Several DACA supporters gathered together for 11 minutes of silence in show of their support for America's 11 million immigrants. It takes a long time to get that citizenship and when you have something like the Trump and Sessions and, and Pence in, we don't have that kind of time for them to get the citizenship. They need to be safe right now. Unlike California or Texas, Hawaii has a very low number of DACA recipients. But state officials believe that they are still worth fighting to protect. At UH, the administration also stands by its policy of granting in-state tuition and other benefits to all UH Dreamers. Lieutenant Governor Doug Chin was the former attorney general who joined the multi-state lawsuits to keep DACA alive. He believes many are afraid of speaking out in public for fear of deportation. And there are many DACA recipients who are much more vulnerable than the ones I know and have talked to. Lieutenant Governor Doug Chin says the UH Dreamers are not illegal criminals, but great contributors to the American society. It's a false narrative, um, and it's, it's one that's coming from the highest levels of government, whether it's our current U.S. Attorney General, our President, or, or his, his surrogates. There, there's too much of that type of very incendiary language that just appeals to the fears and the unfounded concerns of, of the public. Now we're talking about uh, people who come to America illegally and are demanding a right to stay. I find this to be strange. I think that America has the same right as any other country on earth to enforce basic immigration laws like pretty much every other country does. While it is unclear what will happen to the DACA program, President Trump still stands on his decision to end it causing much controversy on both sides of the table. I certainly don't support letting them stay. To me, that's just very simplistic, right? That's just, you know, it, it's like taking something to the very base level and just saying, well, it's our prerogative. These people are illegally here, so we can do whatever we want with them. It's just wrong on many, many levels. Showing that we're a country that welcomes people, that's what America is all about. That inspires me, and, and I'm, I'm ready to keep pressing forward. <laughs> From UHM-TV, Chanel Diaz. Chanel, are there any sanctuaries here in Hawaii that the DACA Dreamers can use? Even I'm told that several churches across the state have declared themselves as sanctuary grounds for all of Hawaii's Dreamers and that they will do everything they can to protect them. Thanks, Chanel.